Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Melissa. And if you have yet to join my community of muses, go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as tap that notification bell. I recently visited a pop-up shop in Chicago's West Loop area. And it was a pop-up shop by Glossier. Now I was uber excited that Glossier had a pop-up shop that was so close by. As many of you already know, Glossier is primarily an online beauty brand. I believe they have a showroom in New York City and then they have one physical retail store, like an actual brick and mortar store in LA. Other than that, it's largely online. So you don't really get a chance to test out the products in person until you actually purchase them and they're shipped to you. So like I mentioned in my previous video, I've been interested in trying their skincare and makeup products for a really, really long time now. I feel like I can really resonate with the message, the branding, the motto of Glossier, which their motto is skin first, makeup second. And you know I am a skincare junkie. I love skincare. I think skincare is very, very important. If you're someone that loves wearing makeup, and I do like dabbling in some makeup every now and again, I think it's fun. It's so important to have a nice canvas to work with. But the main reason I was interested in this brand was actually the makeup products that they had. I liked how they promoted like an everyday sort of a look, a not so complicated routine, something that I would feel comfortable wearing every day just because I tend to like more natural looks, nothing against more bolder or experimental looks or anything like that. I think those are beautiful. I love looking at them. I love watching tutorials on how people do their looks. But quite frankly, I am just not at that level in terms of skill when it comes to applying makeup. So I like to keep it simple. Um, not to mention certain products, I don't know if I just don't know what I'm doing or I'm just using them wrong. I feel like they just don't look right when I put it on. Like, especially a lot of foundations, they tend to like, it, they tend to crease up on me. It just, it makes me look old and dry and I don't know. I gotta figure it out at some point. I feel like this brand is just more manageable when it comes to providing me with simple, products, a simple routine that can still enhance the natural beauty that I have and provide me with a more enhanced everyday look. You know what I mean? So that was why I was really drawn to this brand and was really excited about trying out their products. So in this video, it's going to be like a first impressions of these products. I have yet to try them on. Um, I did swatch a few in store like on my hand and stuff like that, but I haven't yet put it on my face. So you guys will be seeing that. You'll be also getting my thoughts and opinions and you'll see the products that I actually purchased when I went to Glossier's pop-up shop in the West Loop. Let's get into it y'all. Mm -hmm. First off, I did purchase two of their skincare products. I purchased their Milky Jelly Cleanser, which is this bad boy right here. I haven't used it yet, but I will. And once I do, I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts on it, whether or not I'm going to include it into my permanent skincare routine. You never know. I also picked up their Super Pure Serum, this little darling right here. And the reason why I picked up this serum, because they had three serums, and this is the only one I was really interested in, was because it has niacinamide as well as zinc in it. And I know those two ingredients are very, very good for your skin. And when I was looking at my skincare routine, nothing came to mind that I had that had any of those two ingredients, the niacinamide or the zinc. So I thought it would be a good addition to my current skincare routine. So first we're gonna be starting off with Glossier Stretch Concealer. I bought this concealer in the color Rich. It's a creamy concealer and according to the box, you're supposed to use your fingertip to press and blend into moisturized skin. It's buildable. 
meaning the more you add, the more coverage you get. So usually when I use concealer, I use it for areas of hyperpigmentation on my skin. Luckily for me, those areas have improved over time with my skincare routine, but I still do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation. So I'm gonna use this concealer for that. And I also know that some people will use concealer in order to brighten their under eye area. That's not necessarily an issue for me or you know, or I'm not really looking for that particular look. So I'm just gonna keep it to helping areas of hyperpigmentation that's on my face. I'm gonna show you on my hand what the color looks like. Focus. So that's what it looks like on my hand. It's a pretty good match. Mind you, Glossier, when it comes to their complexion products, they only have five shades. The way that they dispersed the shades were pretty good. But the actual number of shades, not so much. I'm just looking at my mirror right here. When it comes to concealers, I'll usually put some on my cheek because I have old acne scars in that area. Went on pretty nicely. Like that's an area where there was an old acne scar. And I'm just dabbing it in with my fingers. I also have some areas of old acne scars like on my chin. Also the chin, my mouth area and chin area are a little bit darker than the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna sort of blend this out a little bit to kind of help color correct. I mean, it's not a color corrector or anything like that, but just to help with evening out the skin tone in that area. And I also have a little bit of hyperpigmentation here, so I'm going to use the concealer there. And that's it, you guys. I really like this concealer. It's not drying. It doesn't feel cakey or anything like that so looking good the next product i'm gonna try is their perfecting skin tint and this product i also got in the color rich and it says to shake then smooth over moisturized skin with fingertips blend upward and outward for sheer coverage and instant doing this now, when I swatched this in the store, it is very, very sheer. It's thin. It's like, it's a very watery skin tint. I wouldn't necessarily call this a foundation. You're not gonna get any sort of coverage with this product. I think the purpose of this product really is just to even out your complexion. Give you a nice, smooth, dewy finish. If you have freckles or if you have dark areas or hyperpigmentation on your face, I don't think this is gonna do the job in covering it. That's what the stretch concealer is for. But in terms of evening out your overall complexion, evening out your, your overall skin tone and giving you a nice dewy finish, I believe this product will do the job. This is the color. So I'm gonna use my fingertips to apply it to my face. If you want, I'm sure you can use like a foundation brush to apply it to your face if you don't wanna use your fingers. So I'll use a foundation brush right now. Because it's so sheer, I feel like that's why they can get away with having such a limited number of shades. I feel like the rich color can work for a lot of us with darker complexion. So that's it. I think it did a really nice job of blending and evening out my skin tone. It wasn't difficult to use at all. It does provide a dewy finish, which I actually prefer when it comes to foundation like products. I mean, I do like a matte finish every now and again if I want to go for a nice refined beat look, but 
for everyday look. I like my skin to be glowing and I like it to look dewy, very basically radiant, healthy, stuff like that. Very hydrated. And I think that this does the job pretty nicely. I didn't even blend it into my neck. I literally just like stopped here and it it matches pretty well. It works pretty well for my skin tone. So I'm really happy about that. The next product I'm gonna be trying is their Boy Brow. And I bought it in the color black. I believe there's only four or five shades of the Boy Brow. So I went with the black color. I also believe their number one selling product is the Boy Brow. So it says that the Boy Brow is a grooming pomade. And you're supposed to apply in short, upward and outward strokes to fluff brows into desired shape. So I have pretty um, thin eyebrows. Well, not thin, the hair itself is pretty fine. I usually have to color it in with like an eyebrow pencil so that it even shows up in photos and sometimes videos. So having another alternative would be great because usually, not usually, but sometimes when I use the eyebrow pencil, I feel like this doesn't look as natural. So the applicator is basically like a mascara wand, except a lot shorter. You see that? Compared to my other eyebrow? Boy brow? Normal brow. That's a pretty big difference. All right, I'm gonna do the other eyebrow. I haven't re-dipped or anything into the bottle. I'm still using, oh. <laughs> I'm still using the same amount of product that I originally picked up. Dang, I suck you guys, look at that. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. I gotta shape it up a little bit. I'm gonna do that with my fingers. Basically shape it up. But I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Now I will say, the only complaint that I have right now with the boy brow is the color. Now the next color up is brown. I found brown not to work too well for me. Between the two, the black worked the best. The eyebrow pencil that I usually use, which is by MAC, it's in their color Spike. And if you've ever seen that color, it's like an ashy dark brown. So I kind of wish that there was a color between the black and the brown that Glossier has. I think that would probably work much better for me, look a lot more natural. But since there wasn't, I just went with a straight up black. They still look amazing. The brow still looks amazing. It still looks natural in terms of like the shape and it's definitely more full, more pronounced. But it's just the color. I just wished it was a bit more natural for me. But anyway, moving on to the next product, I actually bought one of their Lit Stars, which is something I definitely wasn't going in there to buy, but when I swatched them on my hand, I was like, wow, I actually like these colors. And there was one in particular that I like. Uh, this is their Lit Star. And I bought the color Herb. It looked so nice against my skin tone. I feel like if you're melanin inclined, if you're a melanin goddess or god, and you're looking for a nice green color for your eyelid that has a bit of shimmer to it, a bit of glitter, definitely try out Herb. Now, Lit Star is supposed to be a glistening eye glow. And you're supposed to dab it onto your lid and blend with your fingertip. That's another reason why when I found a color that I liked, I was really excited about trying it because this is like my first ever sort of like liquid or cream based eyeshadow. Usually my eyeshadows are like a normal eyeshadow in a palette or in a little jar or something like that. Let me swatch it on my hand for you guys real quick. You see that? Very pretty green color. And 
there you have it. I definitely think it's a very nice everyday color. It gives you just a little bit of oomph. All right, I'm gonna do the other eyelid. What do you guys think? It's like a very nice subtle touch of color as well as a bit of shimmer. I do like it a lot. I also ended up picking up three of their cloud paints. Now their cloud paint is like a cream blush. I think the reason why they keep sticking to like creamy formulations and things of that nature is because it's those sort of formulations are very easy to put on with your fingertips. So from what I've gathered, if you were ever on the go and you took these products with you, you wouldn't necessarily need to also carry any brushes. So basically your routine is even more simplified because there isn't necessarily a need to also carry with you tools such as makeup brushes in order to apply the products. These are the three cloud paint colors that I purchased. So I bought the color Haze, Dawn, and Storm. And it says that they're seamless cheek colors. So for best results, apply with fingertips, gently squeeze a tiny dot on finger, and blend into cheek. Add more as you wish. Let me um, swatch some of the colors for you guys. As you can see, I have yet to open these. <laughs> Kind of take off the foil. So those are the three colors. Storm and Haze are pretty similar. I don't know if you can tell by looking at my hand. They're pretty similar, but um, Storm is a bit more reddish in color and Haze is a bit more berry. I'm gonna go with Dawn. There's some dots. Well, hopefully that wasn't too much. You would never think, you know, because it's like literally an orange color, but it really looks nice as a blush, especially against my darker complexion. So there it is, you guys. Again, that subtle enhancement. It looks very nice. Dawn is definitely a nice sort of warm, summery blush color. I also bought three of their Balm.com products. I believe the cherry and the rose has like a slight tint to it, while the coconut one has no tint at all. And these balm.coms are meant to be a universal skin salve. So what I mean by universal, they mean that literally you can use them on your lips, on cuticles, on elbows, on your friend, anywhere that needs some love. For the purpose of this tutorial and for the reason why I purchased them, I'm gonna be using it on my lips. And I wanna have a little bit of color, so I'm gonna do cherry. But before applying it, let me squeeze out some of the other colors as well onto my wrist so you can kinda see what the balm looks like. Nice little subtle bit of color. I like it a lot. Last and certainly not least, I actually purchased the Wowder. And the Wowder is meant to be a finishing powder. So for the days where you don't necessarily wanna have a dewy look, you wanna have more of a matte finish, that's when you would use the Wowder. It says to dip your brush into the mesh, then gently tap the side of the jar to remove excess powder. Sweep over face to reduce shine and set makeup. I got the Wilder in the color Rich. I'm gonna take this brush that I have from e.l.f., knock off some of the excess, and then I'm just gonna brush it all over my face. I still look hydrated, but it is a little bit less dewy, less of a shine. It looks very nice, refined, a nice clean finish, for sure. I definitely like the way this looks a lot. Except for the brows, the brows need some improvement. But overall, you guys, I'm really excited about these purchases I made. I'm really happy with the result. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoy the content, please give it a thumbs up. If you've tried any Glossier products, please leave a comment down below. Let the rest of the community of muses know as well. Or who knows, maybe you're someone who's interested in giving it a try. Go ahead and let us know that too. With that said, 
I'll be seeing you guys in my next upload. Bye.